Well, turning to international news now, there has been a bombing in Pakistan, one of the deadliest there in years. More than 50 people have been killed after a suspected suicide bomber blew himself up in the country's southwest. <laughs> The bombing targeted a mosque where hundreds of people were gathered to mark a Muslim holiday. Officials say at least 52 people are dead, nearly 70 others are wounded. First responders and other bystanders helped to rush the injured to hospital. So far, no one has claimed responsibility for the attack. The CBC's Abby Kouifassin is tracking this story for us from London today. She joins us now live. Abby, what are the latest details coming out about the bombing? Authorities say a suicide bomber detonated a device at this mosque in Mastung during a religious procession. The Balochistan police chief says that an officer was killed trying to stop the attacker. And the bombing happened in a crowded area. As you mentioned, people were marking a religious holiday, marking the Prophet Muhammad's birthday. And a state of emergency has now been declared by officials in Balochistan. It's the country's largest province and has been a target of Islamic extremists, generally those attacks have targeted security forces and no group has yet claimed responsibility for this attack nor the attack near Peshawar. That incident occurred hours later at a mosque in a police station compound. The roof collapsed and there are reports of people, up to 40 people actually, being trapped under the rubble there. Now, the TTP is the largest militant organization operating in the country, but it has denied any involvement in today's blast. The Pakistani interior minister has called both incidents terrorist attacks, and analysts say that after the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, some extremist groups have been able to reorganize in the region. And it is worth mentioning, elections in Pakistan are slated for January, and there has been a recent surge in attacks by militant groups. The CBC's Abhi Kouthasen in London.